Proper line management and avoiding line twists begins in the shop, even before you hit the water. It depends on how long you store your line and how you spool them. Proper line spooling techniques will help you avoid line twist. It will help you avoid line management issues. Also making sure that you have fresh line on your reels will go a long way to making your time on the water a little bit better. The key to avoiding line twist begins in the garage when you're spooling your reels. And what really makes the biggest difference is the direction at which the line comes off the filler spool or the bulk spool as it is coming towards you on the reel. What I like to do, especially with a casting rod, is if you are actually spooling a reel right now, what you would want to see is you would want to see the line facing you off the top of the spool. For a spinning reel, what I've always done is I've always had the line come off the bottom of the reel. The other part of the thing that's really important is to make sure to maintain a little bit of tension on your spool, on the line as it's coming onto your reel, and I'm going to show you a couple of tricks that will help you with that. Avoiding line twist starts with spooling on the line onto your reel. Here I have a bait casting reel in my hand and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a trick to make sure that you maintain some tension on that spool as it's being transferred onto the reel. So what I tend to do is I use a bucket. I've used to use hotel buckets, ice buckets type thing when I could get one given to me by a manager, but you can also go to Walmart or one of your other outlet stores and find a little bucket here that gives you uh, a basin that you can use that puts some tension as that spool is spinning. So as you can see, as I'm spooling the reel, transferring the line, that drags on there. I've got tension into there so that the line is very nice and smooth and tight as I transfer it onto the reel. And as I put the line on, I get to the point that I want to be at and I can just stop spooling and I can cut that line and it's in good working order. It stays taut, it stays clean and fresh right on my spool and I use something there to keep tension on it. Cut the line here and you are ready to go fishing with a casting rod. Spooling a spinning reel is a little bit different than spooling a casting reel. There's two different ways that you can spool the line to avoid line twist. The first is the one that I tend to use, which is to make sure that the line comes off the bottom of the spool when it's facing you. You see how this line is right here on this Seaguar Basics fluorocarbon that's going to go on my spinning reel? So when it's spooled, it'll look like this if it's looking at you, if you're facing it. So in that manner, here I have that same bucket that I'm using right here and I would use my fingers pinching the line to apply some tension and just let that spool spin like that in the bucket and that will help to avoid line twist. The other thing that you can do to avoid line twist is to place the spool flat on a surface like the deck of my boat here. You can have the line coming off the top of the spool and then you just watch it. If it starts to coil around the tip of your rod a little bit you see how it's, it's still going in there straight, so I've got good, the good sequence right now. It's, it's getting on that line, on that spool pretty good. If I start to see it coil, then what I would want to do is flip it over. But either coming off the bottom with good tension or spooling it on when it's laying down flat until you get a nice full reel. Again, you want to keep tension on the line, so I just kind of hold the spool like this, hold the rod above it, let the line go between my fingers and fill it all the way up. And then I've got good line management, less coil.